Welcome back. You're watching Times Now. As India has its hopes and ambitions soaring high with the takeoff of spacecraft Chandrayaan-3, here's a detailed report on it. With chants of Jai Hind, Chandrayaan 3 lifts off and so do the hopes and prayers of 1.4 billion Indians. We have a majestic lift off of LBM 3 M4 rocket. This is how India scripted history with its third lunar exploration mission, Chandrayaan 3. The historic launch unfolded in the presence of more than 10,000 Indians present at Andhra Pradesh's Sri Harikota. ISRO Chief S. Somanath, the officials of the Space Agency and MOS Science and Technology, Jitender Singh closely monitored each and every detail as the craft leaped into space. The journey of over 40 days has begun, with a spaceship expected to touch down Moon's South Pole region on August 23, with a mission to develop and demonstrate new technologies required for interplanetary missions. If successful, India will join the coveted club of only three nations, that is US, Russia and China, which have achieved the feat so far. First, it has to, we have to fire the engine, so the engine on the land, uh, orbit propulsion model should work very well, the control system should work very well, and we should be able to raise the orbit slowly. So unless it, we are able to raise it in our next one, uh, one or two orbit, we, the mission is out, power generation we are checking, so many things are happen, going to happen. Then slowly raise it by 1st August, we will go to moon, and that travel will take about 4-5 or five days, then we will reach moon and capture on the moon, then remaining activities will take place. This heralds the beginning of India's wider global role Absolutely. in the world arena and the emerging world scenario of the 21st century. And I'm glad I must thank Prime Minister Modi has been very supportive about it. Yes. Chandrayaan 2 was not a failure in, in the strict sense because we did land. Only thing, the, the things did not go as we had envisaged. Taking care of all these things which might not have, which might have been overlooked in Chandrayaan 2, plus also adding some yes. of the supplements which, which uh, would have taken otherwise quite some time to be added on. This is India's second attempt at soft landing robotic instruments on the lunar surface after a similar attempt failed in 2019. However, with resolve, resilience and perseverance, India bounced back and added a new chapter to the nation's space history. Chandrayaan-3 mission consists of the main objectives of exhibiting end-to-end -end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. अभी तक जितनी जो लैंडिंग हुई है वो हम देखते हैं कि जो चंद्रमा का बीच वाला या भूमध्य भाग जो है ये इस इलाके में लैंडिंग हुई है अभी हम पहली बार जो है वो दक्षिण गोलार्ध में दक्षिण भाग में हम लैंडिंग करने जा रहे हैं तो उसमें ये है कि जैसे आप ऊपर वाला भाग देखेंगे तो वहां पे तो हम देखते हैं कि तकरीबन 14 दिन का सूर्य प्रकाश रहता है उसके बाद में 14 दिन अंधेरा रहता है तो दक्षिण भाग में जो है वो जहां कई ऐसी जगह हैं कि जहां पे सूर्य प्रकाश नहीं है और वहां पे वैज्ञानिकों ने देखा है चंद्रयान 1 के समय भी हम जान गए थे कि वहां पे पानी है पानी बर्फ के रूप में पानी वहां पे है तो वो पानी वहां पे जा करके हम देखेंगे कि उसकी सतह कैसी है उसकी मिट्टी कैसी है मिट्टी का परीक्षण किया जाएगा साथ में ही जो चंद्रमा पे जो क्वेक आते हैं पृथ्वी पे जैसे भूकंप आते हैं तो चंद्रमा पे भी कंपन आते हैं तो उनकी उनको भी मेजर किया जाएगा तो ऐसे कई उपकरण हैं कई खोज हैं जो चंद्रमा की धरती पे होंगे the spacecraft consists of a six-wheel lander and rover module configured with payloads to provide data related to the moon's surface. The rear wheels of the rover, named Pragyan, will leave imprints of the ISRO and the national emblem on the lunar surface, symbolizing its presence and leaving India's mark behind. 
Prime Minister Modi took to Twitter and hailed the new chapter in India's space odyssey and appreciated the relentless dedication of Indian scientists. और आपको खुशी होगी अभी जब मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूं तो भारत में चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रयान थ्री की लॉन्चिंग के लिए रिवर्स काउंटिंग की गुंज सुनाई दे रही है कुछ ही घंटों बाद भारत के श्री हरिकोटा से ये ऐतिहासिक लॉन्च होने जा रहा इवन नासा एंड यूरोपियन स्पेस एजेंसी हैव लॉडेड चंद्रयान थ्री हिस्टोरिक मिशन टू दी फार साइड ऑफ द मून Chandrayaan-3 is on its onward journey towards the moon and would be the first to land at the lunar south pole an area of special interest for space agencies due to the presence of water ice that could support a future space station Bureau report Karan Singh for Times Now So well scientists at the Indian Space Research Organization successfully performed the first orbit raising maneuver of the Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft the health of the spacecraft was normal ISRO has now confirmed my colleague Swati joins us with the details of that update that's coming from uh, ISRO Swati over to you Yes well Pratibha thank you very much let's show our viewers this is the latest as far as the Chandrayaan 3 mission is concerned the latest update coming in from ISRO suggests that the spacecraft's health is normal the first uh, orbit raising maneuver is successfully performed what this means is now the uh, uh, spacecraft is in an orbit which is when closest to earth around 173 kilometers and when uh, far from earth the farthest it is at 41762 kilometers we know that the lander will take around 42 days to complete its journey and there are a lot of crucial events lined up uh, uh, like the earthbound maneuvers the insertion into the lunar orbit the separation and of course ultimately the soft landing on the lunar surface so this is the latest update pratibha the spacecraft's health is normal everything is on track as planned Okay all right so Chandrayaan 3 has a long journey 3.84 lakh kilometers to be precise it's good to know that the first step has been successful so Ati thank you for joining us a quick break now we'll be right back